Hey guys, this is Pharaoh2091, and welcome back to Let's Play Ace Attorney Investigations Miles Edgeworth. Last time we left off, we came back to Manny's office to take another look around and see what else we could find, and it seems that we did find out that he was the one who ordered Damas II to steal the statue so Babel can be like the rightful, you know, country or whatnot, but. After figuring that out, we got information to put into the little thief to recreate the room during the fire. So let's go ahead and see what we can find here. Well, it definitely seems right here that this grandfather clock was... seems like it was moved. This grandfather clock was apparently in a different position before the fire. According to the staff members, the clock was, fl was flush against the wall before the fire, sir. Which means that most likely it was moved by someone during the fire. Speaking of which, it's totally 11 o'clock right now, but I don't hear any chiming. Huh? That's odd. It was still chiming right on the dot on every hour this morning. Maybe the fire damages internal mechanisms or something. Ambassador, may we have to take a look inside that clock? Sure, go right on ahead. Zip of Gumshoe, if you could please inspect the insides of the clock. Yes, sir! On, I'm on it! Mr. Edgeworth, I found this inside, sir! It... Looks like a length of wire. So, this is what caused the clock to stop chiming. But, well, what was a long length of wire doing inside this clock in the first place? That is odd. Hmm. Uh, why would someone do this to such a valuable clock? It sounds like it wasn't Ambassador that put the wire in there. Or perhaps it was Mr. Cochin's killer who did. Oh no! Ooh, look at these green flames. I don't know if it's supposed to, if it's green because, you know. Hey, they must be green because uh, he, he, the ambassador said himself, he was greeted by green flames. Although it doesn't help because the little thief is green as well, so it's like, eh. There must have, this, is, this must have been the large green flames ambassador, the ambassador saw. Which, with flames like these, it's no wonder he couldn't get in. Okay, by the time you came into this room, had a fire already been put out? Yeah, the fire had died out or something by that time. And this fire is here only because it was only is only ugh. then this fire in here only burned from the time the fire started on the third floor until the Yagarasu appeared and caused a stir in Babala, I suppose. I guess the ambassador was just lucky enough to run into this fire as it was burning, huh? Yes, you could put it that way. And since you were the first to discover the body, you can assume that no one else entered the room until that time. No one other than the person we were chasing, of course. I knew it! That person I saw was definitely up to no good! I mean, that person could even be Mr. Cochin's killer! That's very likely to be the case. After all, that person came into this room before you, and must have chosen this room precisely because they have no one else, uh, no one would be in there. Okay, then maybe the green fire was there, it was, 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 maybe the green fire was where it was to prevent anyone from coming in. But then, what did a person set on fire to make the green flames? Hmm, well, whatever it is that person burned, it made a rather sizable flame. But since the fire is green, well, we've seen something that that burns green, right? It's a bit tinier than these flames, but you get what I mean. Yes, I do believe that, that, that what you are thinking is exactly what these flames are green. Which fire-related piece of evidence burns the same color as these green flames? I swear, if you guys get this wrong, I don't know what the hell to tell you. It's not that hard. The Silhouette Lantern. Its green flame consists comes from the wet, wet crystal oil it's burning. Yeah, that's the fire I was t thinking of too. I love the green it gives off. I think we've now established that the green flames are caused by wet crystal oil. Furthermore, we know that there is only one other thing made from wet crystal, wet crystal oil. Oh, you mean that thing that the ambassador was mistaken about, right? Yes, precisely. As we found out earlier in our investigation. Um, what? I don't get it. Can you feel me in, sir? Fine, I suppose. I'll explain it in a way that even you can understand. If this is a thing that made from wood crystal oil that Ambassador was mistaken about. And that... would be... this ink. That sucked it. Yeah, okay. This ink is made from wood crystal oil. Oh, so it should burn the same color as the flames in the lantern, right? Yes, precisely. However, the green flames in this room were not from a bottle of ink. Because we found the ink Mr. Cochin used on his desk, right? 
Yes. However, we know that Mr. Potion was smuggling the ink in massive quantities. Now, what do you suppose the, what he made using all that ink? I believe what he made with that ink is the answer to what gave, gave birth to the green flames. Oh yeah, I'm beginning to really feel the energy coming from you, Mr. Edgeworth. Ed, Mr. Edgeworth? <laughs> it would appear that I finally found it. The smuggling, reels, smuggling ring's real goal. Made of ink, this is the source of the green flames. And we know that these bills are indeed made from the ink. And say if they burn, then they should burn green. What would you cons what would consume that great of a volume of ink to make? That would be the counterfeit bills that the smuggling ring made and are circulating in Fa. You're kidding! You're saying that it was Mr. Coach who made the counterfeit bills? I am. I believe you could even go so far as to say that he stole the printing press. Ambassador, Mr. Coach had permission to freely use the printing press, correct? Why, yes, and I do remember seeing him use it in the middle of the night. But never did I think he was using it for such a foul deed. Ambassador, because of your secretary's crimes, you will need to be investigated as well. Uh, yes, I suppose so. We've caused a bit of trouble for a few countries, haven't we? It's my duty to search out all who shielded Mr. Kochin and concealed his crime. For they are the ones who started a fire in order to destroy the evidence. Alright. Well... Hmm. I wonder if Gumshoe knows any more about some information here. Let's talk to him. Detective, you took part in the initial investigation, correct? Yep, sure did. I also helped put out both fires, sir. But that fire, that first fire took me by surprise. I had a tough time escaping the fifth floor. First I tried the elevator, but I guess someone else had the same idea because it was in use. If I hadn't remembered to use the stairs at that point, I'd have been burnt to a crisp. Wait, that's odd. We always warn our staff that in case of a fire, it's dangerous to use the elevator. That is common sense in anywhere in life. Never use an elevator if there's a freaking fire. Oh. Maybe someone wrote it in a fit of panic? Detective, did you see the Autograsu that came to the, the MC at all? I didn't personally. And the other staff members told me they never got a good look at the person either, sir. I wonder if you could tell me a bit more about what you discovered, Detective. As I yawned. The second fire broke out around the time the Agarasu was spotted in Alabast. That's also when a suspicious person was spotted in the battle, which caused some panic. So no one was able to get a good look at this Yagarasu that entered the battle? Yeah, all they saw was a mysterious person wearing a long coat. But that's not enough to make a positive ID, you know? Still, it was enough to make the people who received the calling card panic even more. A person in a long coat? Sounds like the exact same person I saw. The autograph that appeared in Albus was, pro was proven to be just a fabrication, a shadow. In light of that fact, the autograph that appeared in Babel is also suspect. You can't be serious! Now when we're this close to capturing the fake? I mean, Callisto, you! So the Yadagrasu appeared, caused mass confusion, killed Mr. Cochin, and then disappeared. Uh, I guess so. By the way, Detective, why did you not chase after the Yadagrasu? I did! But, well, this embassy is huge, sir! I got separated from the other staff members I was with, and I was lost for a while there. You didn't even memorize the layout of the building you were in to guard, Detective? Uh, I'll be sure to do that from now on, sir! But, you know, I was it was thanks for me being lost I was able to come to Kay's rescue. Oh? Is that a fact? Yeah, it was when I was lost and wandering around in the third floor at hallway, sir. When I heard a scream, I, ha I headed towards it right away. Oh, that's probably from when I found Mr. Cochin's body. Yeah, I thought it sounded like her, so I got real worried and ran as fast as I could. And it was thanks to Gummy that machine I wasn't able to take me away. He covered for me until you got here, Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, I see. So he can be useful in Once in a Blue Moon. Still, it's too bad Agent Sheena got her got here before I did. Hmm. I wonder where she went. I wonder where she was before you found out found her here. Well, just before I got to this room, I saw her coming out of the room next door. Hmm. Agent Sheena mentioned something about chasing the Agarasu herself earlier. Well, she apparently helped in putting out the first fire. 
And during the second fire, I heard she was busy chasing the Agarasu. She seems to be a very dedicated agent. You would do well to learn from her. Why are you pointing at me when you say that, sir? We've examined everything in this office, but there's still one thing that bothers me. Perhaps I should ask the Ambassador about it. Ambassador, is there there's something I'd like to ask you about? Yes? About this office, it appears to me that to be very similar to the Ambassador Alba's office. For example, the location of the fireplace and the position of the grandfather clock. Oh, that's right. You've also paid a visit to the Albastian side of the embassy. Our two embassies actually used to be one. Yes, I know. Even the pamphlet mentioned that. Which is why the building is bi bilaterally sy sy symmetrical. It's a good design. I mean, it's, makes it's, it's sensical design in, in any case. So, no matter which room the location of the fireplace and the, and the, and the light are... Ugh. So no matter which room, the location of the fireplace and the like are exactly the same. Even where the arc is... Uh, hold on guys, I'm getting... Uh, there, I was getting ads popping up on my computer. Ugh. Even where the arc is located the same, but as my room is currently under renovation, we worked hard to make Manny's room look just like the ambassador's office. You mean for your handshake photo op with the Jammin' Ninja? Yes, that's right! I mean, what's a photo like that's worth? What's a photo like that worth? It's not taken in the ambassador's office, right? Yet another odd expression of Babel's obsessively competitive spirit of Albast. I take it. Thank you, ambassador. That piece of information is all I need to connect the dots. Connect what dots? Well, anyway, I'm glad I was able to get uh, to be of some help. And now we enter logic mode. So let's go ahead and connect the dots. All right, so we know that because they're, they have a basic symmetry here, that explains why there's fireplaces that they connect. So that means that the fireplace must also connect here as well. The Albastian and Belbelli sides of the buildings are symmetrical to each other, as we know that as as we know that to be a fact, then this room's fireplace must also hide a secret passageway. A secret passageway? In Albas, the fireplace turned out to be to have a revolving back wall. A revolving wall? It sounds like something out of a ninja house. Wow, there's a trick like that built into a fireplace, sir? What? This embassy holds that kind of secret? There seems to be a lot about this room that you don't know about, Ambassador. I guess it's time to pay the bill for letting Manny uh, do so much work for me. Please, I really want to know about the real Manny and what you know about this room. What are you waiting for, Mr. Edgeworth? Let's get to the bottom of this. Agreed. And my first thought, my first thought is that it's likely the killer used the revolving fireplace. Oh, okay, so possibly to escape. It looks like just another fireplace, so doesn't it? So how do you how do you turn it again? And I'll best I had to push where the X was in the far wall of the fireplace. Oh, I see an X back there, sir. Let's see what happens when I push it. Ah, you scared me, sir. There's something about this fireplace that lies in contradiction to the in, to the facts. Huh? But we found an X where you thought there'd be one, right? We did, but that's not what I was referring to. Something is missing from the scene. What does this contradiction mean for us? Let's see. Well. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I got this. Go ahead and deduce the, fi the, the wood right here. Because if you remember what the ambassador is here said, he said they were cleaning um, they were cleaning up the room and they were burning some files and he never cleaned the ashes. But from right here, it seems like there isn't any. Eureka! Ambassador, you said that you burned some old files in this fireplace today, correct? Yes, I burned quite a few files this morning, actually. And after you did, you forgot to clean out the ashes from the fireplace, correct? That's right, but why are you asking? And why are you making such a scary face? I'm sorry, I admit I am a bit intimidated when I'm serious. In any case, take a good look at this fireplace and tell me what you find odd about it. Let's see... Huh? Where did all the ashes go? That is odd, where did they go? What is the meaning of this, Mr. Edgeworth? You don't really think that the ambassador is lying, do you? 
No, there's no reason for him to lie. And I don't believe his testimony is wrong either. It, it is the fireplace that is causing the contradiction. Kate, I wonder if you might update the fireplace data for me. You got it! I'll add it in the ashes from the burnt files and... Sounds like we, we pretty much figured everything out now, huh? Hmm. Well, it was nothing. All I did was follow where our leads led us. Ooh, I sister coming on! You're about to dazzle us again, right? Oh, you mean that? Well, that's what Mr. Andrew was known for, you know? There's really no need for you two to dance around the name of what I'm about to do. Well, I think we can actually go back into the logic mode. Because it could be possible that this fireplace was used. And if it was used, then maybe that's why the ashes aren't there anymore. The reason as to why the ashes are missing is simple. It's not because someone cleaned them up, right? No, because even if someone did sweep them up, the fireplace is too clean for that. Ambassador said that he spilled some ink while he was burning the files as well. And yet, there's not a trace of the spilled ink on the back of the wall anywhere! Well then, I don't know what's, ha what's happened then. Well, I'll tell you what happened. The two sides were switched. By using the revolving fireplace wall, the ashes were moved into the neighboring room. Which means that this is a clear indication that the fireplace was used! Right, okay. Then you mean, the person I was chasing disappeared from this room through there? Yes, I believe the person you were in pursuit of is Mr. Cochin's killer. And after committing the murder, escaped through the fireplace. Oh, okay. Wow, Mr. Andrew, you figured out the killer's escape route! I have, but this is only the beginning. Now we have to chase the killer down. Wait a minute, though. If he, the, if whoever escaped the fireplace, it says that it, it goes into the room next door, but wasn't Sheena in the room next door? What does that mean, then? If the killer used the fireplace in this room to escape into the next, then it's only logical for us to talk with the person who was in the neighboring room. Well, the person that was in the next room was... Oh! It was that person, sir! Yes, Detective. Agent... Agent Sheena. I wonder where... what we could be... where we could be going with this. It's looking more and more like Miss Sheena's the killer, isn't it? Let's not jump to conclusions yet. We need to go through what we know so far. She came running straight into this room from the next one and instantly accused you. Furthermore, she claimed that it could only have been you that killed Mr. Cochin. I don't have any proof yet, however, I know she's hiding something from us. Okay then, why don't we go ask Machina herself? No, not yet. There's something that needs to be done first. Detective Gumshoe! Sir, is it my turn to do something, Mr. Edgeworth? Yes, I have a two-part special assignment for you. First, I need you to run a hand handwriting analysis on Damascus Second's note. Okay, I'll get the lab boys on them right away. Second, I want you to see if you can fit through the revolving fireplace wall. R right now, sir? No, next decade. Of course now! We need to test our hypothesis first, don't we? Come on, Gummy, you can do it! Alright, I'm gonna do this like a real man! Here I go, through the fireplace and back! You shouldn't need to psych yourself up that much for such a simple task, de detective. Wow, the wall inside the fireplace really did turn! That's so neat! Now I want to go try going through there, too! There really is a secret passage through there! I had no idea! Hmm. It would appear that the ash really was pushed into the other room. Furthermore, the ink you spilled, Ambassador, is, uh, is there on the back wall. Okay, here I go, sir! Detective, I'd like you to go through there under the same conditions as the, as the killer. Huh? But there's all that ash and stuff! And your point is? Now, we're, we're sure in time, so if you could please hurry up on through. Oh, yes, sir. He probably doesn't want to dirty everything up. Now, you gotta buy him a new shirt and whatnot. Okay, so now we pretty much have the whole picture, right? No, not yet. There remains a few more mysteries to solve, such as the Yadagarasu's whereabouts, the other smuggling ring members, 
the two weapons that made it across the border that Key misused still seven years ago. In fact, we haven't figured out a thing regarding how misuse relates to these embassies. Mr. Edgeworth, a number of pieces connected in a very complicated way in this case. It's almost enough to make one completely, ment one completely mentally exhausted. What are you saying, Mr. Edgeworth? I thought you were the one who said that it's easy if you follow the leads. Hmm. Was that supposed to be an impression of me, Kay? If it's if it's info gathering you need, Gummy and I can I can can help with that. Then all you have to do is show off your fancy schmancy logical logical deductions. Show off? Does it seem like I'm being boastful when I do that? Kinda. Let's not overcomplicate things, okay, Mr. Edgeworth? We've been so focused like a laser on only what seems strange and out of place. It's no wonder nothing's clicked and we haven't unlocked anything yet. But if we think things through calmly, the answer should come right to us. Okay. That's the sort of thing I say to myself when I'm practicing how to unlock padlocks, you know? That is something that I hope practice doesn't make perfect for your sake. <laughs> Yay! Looks like you're back to your straight laced self again. Hey, Mr. Edgeworth! I'm back, sir! Yes, I can see that. Good work, Detective. <laughs> Looks like you'd use that fireplace like a door, sir. Are you alright, Gummy? I'm okay. I'm just a bit of ash and dust, that's all. Your jacket has gotten quite filthy. I see the hem has practically turned black. Yeah, well, quite a bit of unburned ink got on it, sir. Hmm. I see. Thank you, Detective. You did a fine job. I'll even pay the cleaning bill for a trench coat. Oh, that's nice, I guess. What? Oh, no, sir, I could never! This is just my old coat, sir. If it was a coat I could actually care about, then I'd get it cleaned, but you know. I see. Very well, then, as you wish. So because Gummy was able to climb through the fireplace, we know it can be used, right? Yes, but it's not all we learned. We actually learned one other important fact. And that is... I will have to explain it to you later. Right now, we need to deal with the handwriting analysis. Detective Gumshoe? Yes, sir! I'll be back before you know it! The handwriting analysis on Mr. Koshin's handwriting will take a bit of time. Let us go and wait in the Thetrum th Chalice, along with Agent Lang and Agent Sheena. Yeah, and I guess, um... Perhaps next time, we can go ahead and talk to Sheena, because... Well, now things just seem a little bit odd. I don't know. I hope it's not the case that she's actually the killer, but, you know, in these games, you just never know. So, as usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Ace Attorney Investigations, Miles Edgeworth. I'll see you guys later.